Hello, Takamasak here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Between the two episodes here, I did a lot of off-screen stuff, a lot of rearranging equipment, and I went back and purchased the spells I had uh, asterisked uh, in the last video description. I'll bump that up to this video description too, just in case you want to do so. Uh, Kier is the only thing I got from him, or for him. It's really the only thing useful, in my opinion. And for the ninja, you can get some of the other level 2 magics, but the only thing I cared enough to get is fast, so definitely going to help having another fast caster for all my attackers here. And yeah, I didn't get to finish my description of all the classes, so obviously the ninja can equip up to level 4 black magics. We'll have a magic charge as soon as we level up again, so that's how that's going to work. And a little bit of weapon switching. I handed the ice sword over to the ninja there. He'll put that a lot to a lot more use. And I gave him the heal staff. I'll explain why in a minute. And the red wizard just got the flame sword just because that's all I had. And he's not going to be doing a whole lot more attacking in the game. So the dragon sword's going to be sold. And we'll take a look at the armor here. Seeming how the ninja can equip a lot more armor. I gave him the flame armor and the ice shield, similarly to why I have the fighter equipped with the the opposites up there too, the ice and the flame equipment, just to take advantage of both elemental resistances. And the reason I gave the ninja the heal staff is because I have the red wizard primarily using the Zeus gauntlet. I tend not to like having people have more than one item that can cast magics in one turn, just so I can possibly cast them both in one turn. And whenever I need healing, I'll just switch back to using the heal staff on my ninja there. But uh, the Red Wizard is primarily going to be using the uh, Zeus Gauntlet there to cast Lit 2 every round now. So it's pretty cool. And I gave everybody the Pro Ring just to take advantage of the immunity to instant death. There are some exceptions to that. Like there are some instant death things that are considered poison. I'll try to point them out if I remember. But other than that, you're just going to have to uh, trial and error here, I suppose. They're not very common, so don't worry about it. Oh, that reminds me. I also picked up the uh, life spell for my red wizard there, so that pretty much completes him. I'm not going to do any more shopping for anybody else. I don't think I can equip any decent level 6 magics anyway. So, there you go. And I also rearranged my party. The ninja is now in the second spot because he's up to 55 absorbed, compared to the red wizard only having 34. So, definitely a lot more of a tank now. All right, let's take a look at the rest of Gaia here, see what's going on. Huh. I have no idea what you're talking about. And if we come through the little forest here... I'm not sure why they did this. They couldn't just put it all in one area, but... Only a fairy can draw Oxy Ale. Well, what do I need Oxy Ale for? I have no idea. And here we have the white magic shop. Nothing I can equip, but if you have a red mage, it might be a good idea to get fade and wall. Um, wall, I've... Honestly, I've never put any of these to use, but wall might be good if you have a master, just because they're so weak against magic. And what wall does is it puts up all of the resistances to every element. So it's like A-Fear, A-Lit, etc., etc., all in one cast. So it only works on one character, though, so that's the only drawback. If you happen to have a red wizard and a master in your party, and you want to try that out, let me know how it works in the comments section. And Fade is pretty much like the... I guess I suppose it's kind of like a holy spell. It does 80 to 320 damage to all creatures. Instead of the harm, just hitting undead monsters. And x -Fur is bugged. It's supposed to get rid of defenses like anti-fire and stuff on monsters, but it doesn't work, so... Screw that! Alright, take a look at the black magics here. A lot of stuff I'm never going to use, because I can't! <laughs> Stop is basically like a hold all, so it'll paralyze all the monsters. With a chance, not 100%, I don't believe. And Zap is uh, instant death to all enemies with a certain percentage chance. And I believe I explained the quadruple X spell back when I fought the I. Instant death to one enemy and guaranteed to work if they have less than 300 HP, so. Super neato! That's pretty much all we can do here. We can come up here. I believe you can also purchase softs here, which I might do. I don't think I need any more, but... A professor that studied Lefanish. I think there's only one doctor guy. That Dr. Oon guy in back in Melmond. Well, what a dick! 
don't trust a purple pirate, or a pink pirate. And over to the right there is just a spring with nothing in it, and it just leads outside of town also, so... I'm just gonna hop in my airship and explore the other town I haven't been to yet. That wrong button there. And we're going to go to a little flashing light to the west of the Cardia Isles there, so you can kind of see it. Basically, just due west or due east. Let's go check that out. Ah, nice relaxing episode. I don't have to kill a lot of stuff. And... Yeah, right here is our objective here, but unfortunately we have to park the airship way the hell over here. I guess maybe we'll run into some new enemies. There's a lot of land enemies that are pretty much the same as what you could have fought on the way to the Castle of Ordeals. But here we have a... a, a Nacho? Naocho? Yeah. Yeah, not a whole lot special about this guy. 344 HP, and he can poison you, so that's really about it for him. And I'm sure he will poison me just to... Oh! Wow! Hooray! I didn't get poisoned. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said before, but that's going to be the Red Wizard's primarily a, primary attack there. They made the ninja green in the PlayStation version. I don't know why they didn't make him green or didn't have him green in this version. Would have stood out a little more, instead of everybody being red. And here we have another guy we haven't met up with before, a gator. Nothing special about him either, he's only got 184 HP and weak to lit. So he should take quite a bit of damage from that Zeus Gauntlet. That's going to be really useful in the near future. Hooray! Ah, I couldn't even kill the gator. Yeah, alright. Ninja, much, much more helpful than the thief. Fortunately. So yeah, he's pretty much worth it. Wouldn't you say he's worth it if you happen to drag him along this adventure with me? I'd say so. But I'll complain about the ugly red color. At least the master has good taste. He's bluish. Alright, let's hop on out of here and get to the town. I made it! Yeah, what do we have in here? Eh, an item shop. How am I doing with my items, anyway? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna repurchase my pure potions here. I'm gonna get up to... I'm gonna get up to 15 just in case. And I'm also gonna remax out my heal potion, so I'll be right back. Alright, maxed out everything I wanted to max out there. I also picked up a couple more cabins, just because they're handy. And let's see what's going on in this town. Mermaids lived in the shrine, okay. Huh. Oh, maybe this is the town that the uh, air fiend and the water fiend... No, I have it. Apparently the fairy has it, but I don't know where the hell the fairy is. The caravan master? Huh, wonder what he had. Beautiful legs! Wh what? What the hell are you talking about? And another pirate! Oh, come on. Uh, who the hell's Cope? I don't know who Cope is. Hmm, yeah, apparently a lot happened 200 years ago. I like it when they just tell you the name of an NPC and you're supposed to know who they are. And I'm not going to wait for the pirate to move. What do you have to say? One's a caravan. Caravan in the western desert. All right, well, keep that in mind. What do you have to say? Yes! Yes, I do! How about that? And we'll take a look at the level 6 black magic shop. Uh, we have Saber here that's supposed to improve your damage and your hit percentage, but it's bugged, so doesn't work. Screw that. And blind, as you can see, how useful being uh, having the darkness status inflicted on you has been throughout the game. Yeah, let's just, uh, yeah. No thanks. Let's take a look at the white magic shop. Hopefully it'll fare a little better here. And anti-rub is just like you would think it would be. Protects you from instant death attacks. But, unfortunately, it's a little late now that we have all of the uh, protect rings there. And heal three, you might as well pick up... Uh, 48296 healing to everybody for your uh, white wizard there, so why not? Basically, I have two of them now in battle. Yeah, well, there's a dragon. 
the hell is he doing over here? Hello! Ooh, I like cryptic stuff. Yeah, I knew that, all right. Dr. Oon. If only I had the slab. If only. Hey, Mr. Dragon. What's going on? Well, well, well. Well, absolutely. Now everybody's red. <laughs> uh. And a couple more people to talk to over here. Oh. Okay, I guess I better go find that fairy then. And the mage guy up there doesn't really say anything helpful. Oh, you're Cope, okay. Saw something near the waterfall. Hmm. Guess I'll go check that out. First, let's go take a look at, for that uh, caravan, though. Just head out into the exit over here. Where the Orochi is guarding. Get out of the way, stupid Orochi. And, well, I guess we have to head in the ship first. Nah, just some gators there. Who cares about that? And let's head up to the north right here. See if there's a desert over here. Yeah, it was one of those ankylos. I think I talked about those guys before. They hit pretty hard, but usually there's only one of them per battle, so. And if we come up here, there's a little shop hidden over here. Who is selling a bottle for $50,000? But absolutely, I want to buy it. Oh, I can buy two of them, huh? And what's in that thing here? Uh, there we go. A fairy appears and then is gone. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna backtrack all the way to the town over there, so I'll meet you over there. Alright, I just wanted to rest up. All we wanted from there is just the bottle, and we set the fairy free. And we'll go meet her by the spring in a little while. I figured we'll go check out the, the waterfall that somebody mentioned. It's just straight up this little uh, canal here. Alright, and we'll, we'll fight a gator, why not? And I'll use a cabin right here. Yeah, this should be just fine. It's not too difficult in this area. But we're gonna go ahead and check it out. There's a little secret cave back here, which we'll check out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is Takamasak. I will see you later.